Hey guys, thanks for watching. I think I have a pretty cool bar build for you today. As with most projects, I start in Fusion 360. This way I can design every little aspect and easily change things along the way. I need to be able to transport and install this bar, so I'm building it in two sections. Those sections will then be put together to make that L shape. I start with the base of the bar. The whole rest of the bar will be built upon this, and this also lifts it up a little bit to make room for bartender's feet. Once the base is together, I move on to what will hold the countertops. Next I move on to the floor of this bar. I have a groove cut for all the floorboards to sit, and I have the corners cut at 45 degree angles. I then fasten it together with glue and some screws. I also add some supports in the middle, and these are placed exactly where the legs will be. At this point I don't have enough barn wood to do the entire floor, so I just piece in where I need to so I can put the legs on. But then the next logical step is to put the legs on. This all looks a little confusing right now, but it will come together, I promise. Now it will all come together right before our eyes. I secure the base and the shelf support to the outside legs, and then I slide in the part I just built and screw it all together. I do the same for both sections. This was probably my favorite part of this project. I was a little unsure how it would all fit together, but it came together almost perfectly, and I was honestly pretty surprised by that. I finish up the shell of this bar by putting on the additional supports and legs. These were all pre-cut and stained and they fit together perfectly. Even my cat was impressed. At this point I still don't have the barn wood to finish the shell of this project, so I move on to the countertop. I make it one big solid piece by gluing two pieces of half inch plywood together. I then put a border around the piece to act as trim around the brick. I'm going to use thin brick that I get from Menards and I install it just as I would tile. I start in the corner by spreading grout out and then laying brick on top of it. I'm careful not to spread the grout too thick because it'll squeeze out between the bricks and show through later. My extremely fast hands laid about 150 bricks for this project. You can just see how quickly I'm moving through the garage, getting this done at lightning speed. At this point you can almost see the fear in my eyes as I realize I forgot to leave space for the sink. It ended up not being a big deal at all as I just pried them up and added them to the end of the bar. Once all the brick was laid besides the sink that I totally never forgot about, not even once. I always plan to do everything around it and then come back to it later, okay? Anyway, I laid the mortar by spreading it out and then wiping it down with a sponge. Once I knew the sink size, I cut out the hole for the sink and then laid the brick around it.
Now I'm adding the two shelves for this bar. And once this is done, it's basically ready for barn wood. Now it's on to the pretty part of this project. I really love using barnwood in this way because it gives it different textures and colors that really give this piece character. I also sprinkle in a little bit of tin to give it a very rustic vibe. This bar style is my own original design. I've built many like it over the years, but I just continue to improve the process to make better use of my materials and make it look as perfect as possible. The tin is slid into slots that I cut using the table saw and then I nail it into place. Then my super fast hands get back to work laying the floorboards for this project. I thought about using new material for the floors and shelves of this build to match the legs and I kind of wish I would have so that this rustic look wouldn't overpower the project, but I still think it ended up looking pretty good. Now that the base is all complete, I move on to the bar top. To match the legs, I'm also using pine for this. It's not a very strong wood, but I'm going to put epoxy over it, and that will make it plenty durable. I cut the two boards to length and cut the 45 degree angles for the corners. I then use a half inch piece of plywood to join the corners together. This will make an extremely strong joint. I used clamps to get a nice tight seam there and it ended up being a really good glue up. Then I stain it the same color as the legs of the bar. Eventually I put a coat of epoxy on it, but I don't have any video of that because there wasn't much to see. Here is the final project once I delivered it and set everything up. I think it turned out great. Thanks guys for watching. Please check out my website so I could build something for you.